Center tonight with the big changes coming from California's farmers, field workers, and consumers with prices uh, possibly climbing because of the drought. Okay, Sarah, please, Mike Lurie standing by live in the Sacramento River right now with a look at how California's water picture is affecting our future. Mike. Well, that's right, Golson. California's bone dry conditions means there's less snow melt, and that means there's less water runoff here into the Sacramento River and beyond. And farmers we talked to today told us the food we eat in the future could look very different. Water is essential to Corey Dietz, who comes to the farmer's market in Davis twice a week to sell his crops. But with less water to work with, farmers are already making changes. The consumers are going to have to change what they expect fruits and vegetables to look like. You know, we've been kind of raised to believe that broccoli is a normal huge head and that if you see something uh, smaller like this that it's you know, bad and this is just something that uses a little bit less water. Some water intensive crops will likely be in short supply this summer, with consumers already expecting to pay more. It definitely increases the prices because there's less food to go around and um, the costs for farmers are going up. And because California feeds much of the nation, the impact will be felt from coast to coast, according to Richard Howitt, a professor of agricultural economics at UC Davis. Remember, California pr provides 50% of the fruit, nuts, and vegetables, and so the cost of a healthy diet is going to go up. How its research shows California's agricultural industry lost $2.2 billion last year from the drought, costing 17,000 jobs, mostly from truck drivers and farm workers like these, who came by bus to Sacramento today, pressing the State Water Resources Control Board to release more water. The water is what we need because we work in the fields, and that's our job. You know, like if there's no water, there's no agriculture and there's no work for us. The farm workers brought political allies with them today, including Joseph Rio Frio from the Mendota City Council. Just worried and concerned about where, where they're going to work in the summertime, how they're going to provide, how they're going to pay rent. Well, water is, of course, our most precious state resource, and Californians have been fighting about it for generations, and this drought has only heated up and intensified that debate. Reporting live in Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. Well, Mike, did the Water Resources Control Board take any sort of action today on some of these cutbacks? They didn't take any action, but they weren't expected to because today's meeting was designed as a public hearing to hear from the public, and they heard a lot of folks, farm workers, uh, farmers, laborers. They've got a lot of input to process in the weeks and months ahead. A big discussion to be had. Mike, thanks for your report.